Hello guys, welcome back. One of the video that I posted a few weeks ago when I extracted the pressure was super high. It was almost in two o'clock range. And then some someone commented saying that why do you leave it to extract? Why didn't you switch it off? You are always training the machine. You're killing the machine. Something can burst. Something can go wrong. There were so many comments. Uh, but I wanted to clarify uh, what is really happening inside. I tried to explain to him um, and I thought I'll explain further in today's video. Now, you might have watched my video yesterday that I uploaded about back flush. How to back flush Bravel Barista Express daily. Now, in that I asked a question, is it safe to do back flush every day? So today I'm going to answer both questions. When you do over extraction, should I switch off the machine? Or is it safe to do the back flush daily? Why? Because the pressure goes super high. And if, if it's too high, is it safe for the machine? It's something going to happen to my machine. So I'm going to explain uh, further on that. And if you have a different opinion, please uh, do comment in the session below. I would, I would be really interested to hear from you guys as well. Uh, so let's begin. Now, first thing I'm going to show you an over extraction. And uh, let's see what is really happening inside the machine. Then I'll talk about the back flush and what really happens inside the machine. So let's start the demo. Now I took some beans here and I'm going to purposely grind it to be fine. So I'm setting my grind size at one and let's make some espresso. Okay, I'm going to use the distribution tool and I'm going to tamp it using the other side. Okay, so let's make an espresso. Now, before I plug in, I want to quickly show you the tray. Let me discard what was inside. So here I have a clean tray. Why I cleaned this, I want to monitor and see uh, what comes out of the back flush because I've grind this so fine. So I'm expecting a lot of pressure and what happens to the extraction. Let's see whether we get some back flush and if we get, we are going to see how that water is. So let's begin. I'm going to press the single cup. So watch the pressure meter. Now, as you see, the espresso is dripping. We got some flow in the pre-infusion stage but now it's dripping so I'm hardly getting any flow this is obviously over extracted so I'm not going to stop I'm going to leave it to extract so now the extraction happens and if you notice I am getting some back flush the reverse flow of water it's still dripping I hope you can see in that angle yeah that's where the water is flowing on the left that that is the extraction that is the espresso but a lot of water flowing from the outlet the back flush outlet so let's wait for it to finish I think it finished now let's look at the tray
it is still dripping so i'll leave it there the other tray now if you notice there's a lot of water that came from the back flush and there were a few drops here that was the actual extraction so why there was a lot of back flush or back flow of the water now that extraction looked like you're overstraining the machine because the espresso was just dripping the pressure was full high obviously the espresso is not going to be tasting good but the question is is it okay to leave the machine on and leave it for the full extraction now in my previous video about the back flush the principle is same what is happening inside the machine is exactly the same what happens is the flow meter whatever inside it will bring out the single cup portion almost one ounce of liquid and then if it's unable to come out of the potter filter come out of the group head it builds a lot of pressure and what happens is this machine is designed for nine bar pressure that's my understanding even though the pump has 15 bar pressure but the extraction is nine bar pressure so anything above nine bar pressure what's going to happen is it will go through the back flush i'm going to explain further on it because i'm going to show you what is inside the machine i'll open the the other side of the machine and show you the internal component what exactly happens and where the water flows so keep that in mind anything about nine bar pressure the machine is going to discard that extraction or that water which generated out already from the flow meter now to explain the over pressure valve on the gravel or any espresso machine to explain it I want to show you uh, the comparison between a pressure cooker this is an old traditional pressure cooker not the latest one where we see it's electric now on this one what happens is when you heat up anything inside the pressure cooker what happens is it builds a lot of pressure now when it reaches certain high pressure point this is going to explode now to avoid that they have introduced this safety over pressure valve or safety valve so what happens is they have set a limit on this pressure so when it reaches certain pressure limit it will push the whistle up this motion as soon as it goes up the steam will escape through this area so that's safe for our pressure cooker and safe for all of us so in this pressure cooker there won't be pressure generating over and over and beyond that limit so it will only generate pressure up to the limit set by the manufacturer in the same way on your gravel machine there is something called over pressure valve now that over pressure valve will ensure that anything above nine bar pressure uh, will be released through the over pressure valve next i'm going to open this machine and show you what exactly happens when you do an over extraction or when you do a back flush so here i have this machine open for you let's see what is inside gravel barista express now if you wanted to know how to open gravel barista express I have a video in my channel I'll leave the link in the description below it's so easy to open you just have to follow that instruction now let's look closely what happens inside when you do an extraction now from the water tank the water flows inside here and this is the flow meter this white disc type thing and then the water goes inside to the solenoid pump and that's the water boiler now this is what i want to explain on today's video this is the safety valve or the overpressure valve opv 
Now, like I explained, the Breville Barista Express, it has the 15 bar pressure pump and the water will be pumped at 15 bar pressure. Now, as you know, the espresso machines, uh, the ideal number is nine bar pressure and Breville is also set at nine bar pressure. That's my understanding. And this pressure well can handle up to nine or 10 bar pressure. Now, let me show you a close up. Now, any, anything above nine bar pressure, what happens is the safety valve will kick in and anything over nine bar pressure, the water will escape through this over pressure valve and it goes to the outlet where we saw it went to the tray on the, on the right side and that's where it is. That's where this goes to. Anything above nine bar pressure, it escapes through here. The water will escape through here and thereby releasing pressure, thereby making it safe for the whole machine and for the valve and for all the valve and other components in the machine. So that, that's what really happens inside the machine. So is it safe to do back flush every day? Uh, my answer would be yes, it is safe to use that. And that's how this machine is designed. It has an overpressure valve, which will protect your machine from building a lot of pressure and damaging the components inside. So this overpressure valve will ensure that your machine is safe. Now, if you have any different suggestion on this, please let me know in the comments below. It will be interesting to get your thoughts as well if it is different from this, or do you agree to this, what I said? Let me know in the comments below. So the other components are, this is the power box where it has the IC chip and that oh, mini computer that controls everything and everything is programmed in here. And that's the backside of the grinder. And what you see inside is the, the boiler. So that's a short description of what we see inside the machine. So if you have some comments or suggestion regarding what you saw today, please write on the comments below and we will discuss further. Is it safe to run back flush daily on your machine? Is it safe to uh, leave the over extraction running? Uh, is it safe? Now the video I posted yesterday about how to do back flush. Now in that video, uh, some people commented. Thanks for those who commented. And also another thing to notice, if you look at commercial espresso machines, they do back flush very regularly, at least uh, five times after making their espresso shot, they do this back flush. Some of them more often after every shot. Now, those commercial machines have reliable parts, so it's okay to do in those machine. But is it okay to do in Breville Barita Express because this is meant for home use? That's the only concern I have. Now, I believe Breville has reliable parts in it and it should be fine. That's my humble opinion. So write on the comments below and we'll discuss further. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and that will help my algorithm on YouTube. So see you guys on the next video and bye for now.